Hi, this is Shell of Shell's Creations, and today I want to talk with you about a technique you can use to make some of the elements in the, your kits look like they were a sticker, to stickerify them if you want to call it that, uh, to give it that white border around it that looks like a printed sticker that you kind of peeled off and it had a little bit of a white border to it. The elements that I'll be using in as samples today come from the kit Play and Grow. You can find it by clicking on the link down below. Okay, uh, the first one that we're going to use is one called uh, the rub-on beads. Um, it's a border. Border rub-on beads. Um, and I opened the grungy version. You could use the grungy version or the clean version. The difference between the two is just that this one looks like a rub-on that didn't quite rub off perfectly. Okay, what we need to do is to select just these beads from this layer. And the best way to do that is to hold down your command or control key and then click on the icon or image of that layer in your layers palette just like that. Now we have the marching ants surrounding things. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that we can see it a little closer. The next step is to add what's called a stroke. A stroke is um, something that goes all the way around the edges of whatever is selected. Okay, um, in order for the stroke command to work, you have to have a layer selected. And so let me show you, it's right up here under edit. So if you see that the stroke or outline selection is, is grayed out, it probably means you don't have the layer selected. So go ahead and select the layer over here so that it's an active layer. And then let's go back under, up underneath edit to stroke outline selection. A dialog box will open up that gives you a few options. The first option is how wide you want it to be. And that's a little bit of trial and error to figure out what you think looks right size-wise proportional for the size of the image that you have. I'm going to try 15 pixels to begin with. The second thing is the color. And that usually will pop up with whatever your foreground color is. To change it, you just double click on that little box. Six Fs in a row is pure white. Okay, the next part is the location. Because we want our sticker to appear outside of our object, we go ahead and check uh, outside. And you can leave the blending modes um, and opacities at, at the defaults. Now let's go ahead and click OK. And there you go. I'm going to do Control D to deselect so that you can see it. And there I have a sticker or white outline around my entire shape. Okay, let's do that same thing. Um, only with a little twist. We're going to bring up another one of the borders. This one is the border rub on toys. And this one, um, I did not open the grungy one. I opened the regular one. If you wanted to use each of these little toy elements like it were a sticker, I'll show you how that works. We need to, to separate them. So I'm going to use my marquee tool. I'm going to draw a box around the xylophone. And then I'm going to hold down Command or Control J. That will duplicate just that spot that was inside of my marquee box. So we'll make um, a sticker out of the xylophone. And then let's make a sticker out of the keys also. I'm going to go back and select my original layer again. I'm going to draw a marquee selection tool, draw a box around the keys, and hit Control J. And then let's draw a box around um, the shapes. And let's do also, well, let's do the, the stacking rings for the other one back to my original layer and control J. Now I'm going to shut off my original layer so you can just see those. Let's start with the xylophone and it's the same concept. Using your commander control key click on the image icon in your layers box that will select that layer. Make sure that that layer is active and then again up underneath edit it's stroke outline selection and the settings that you had the last time you used this tool will come up again and we are going to stick with 15 pixels outside color white. We'll just go ahead and click OK and there we have a sticker. Let's go and do the one for the keys. Uh, make sure it's the active layer. Command or control click on the keys. Under edit we go to stroke outside line selection and there's a sticker on our keys and the rocking rings. Click here. Make sure it's the active layer. Under edit go down to stroke outline selection and you have a sticker. Now these stickers uh, you could you know you can overlap them but you'd be able to use those on your layouts and it just gives you a little bit more versatility and a little bit more fun when you're creating your kits. Uh, if you like this tutorial, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can do that doing it with the link up above. That way you'll be the first to know when I release new videos. If you have any questions, you can reach me at shells.creations1 at gmail.com. Thank you. See you next time.